Hi guys and welcome to the Gone to series. In the earlier tutorial, we saw a demo on how a RESTful web service accepts form parameters sent by the client by submitting the HTML form. In this tutorial, we'll see a demo on how you can download a file from a RESTful web service or in simple words, the client would send a request to the get student file function lying in the university RESTful web service and then this function would send a file as a response to the client. The client would be popped up with an option to save or open the file. So client can either save the file in his local disk or just open it. Let's start. This is the demo we saw in last tutorial about how a RESTful web service accepts multiple form parameters sent by the client by submitting the HTML form using form param annotation. I would delete off this existing function and would create the new one for this demo. Just to save some time, I already have written this function. So let's go through it fully. The client would access this function using this URL. This function can send text file as a response. If you want any other file type to be sent to the client as a response, just change the produces annotation to an appropriate value and you are done. For example, for sending PDF file as a response, change the value of produces annotation to application slash PDF. This statement would frame the file object to be sent to the client from the file stored at this location. Now, there are two ways to send the response from a RESTful web service to the client. First way is just send the requested object directly like this. That is, return the file object directly to the client as a response. And the second way is wrap the requested object into the response builder object first and then send the response object to the client. So what's the difference in the two? Sometimes you would want to send some extra information to the client other than the requested object alone as a response. For example, you want to send status code say 200 OK explicitly along with the requested object. Or you would want to explicitly tell the client about some information about the response object. Let's take our example. What we want is when we send the file to the client, client should be popped up with an option to save or just open the file. And to do so explicitly, you will need to tell the browser to show the pop-up when it gets the response from the server. And this requirement we achieve using the response builder object. Let's see what we are doing in the code for this. We are first wrapping the requested file object to the response builder object and then explicitly telling the browser to show the pop-up message by setting the response header values as content deposition, meaning instructing the browser to show a pop-up when the response from the server reaches the client. If you want to present this file with some other name other than its original name to the client, you can mention that as well to the response header using this value attachment file name property. You can see here that I have mentioned here the name of the file as display name demo file.txt. So this is the name client would see for the file when it gets a response from the web services server. Let's save a text file with some data with the name demo file.txt at this location for this demo. Let's run the web service on the server and test this. Paste the URL in your browser and press enter. This is the response from the RESTful web service. You may open or save the file. Let's open the file. Yes, the RESTful web service has sent the file as a response to the client. 
In the next tutorial, we'll see a demo on how to upload a file, for example, PDF, image, text, or any other file type to a RESTful web service.